The Baltic Power Company is building a wind farm on the Baltic Sea. The wind farm is producing electricity and sends it to the shore, where the electricity is received by the onshore substation, where transformers and shunt reactors are installed. Transport and assembly of the transformers and shunt reactors to the station was handled by UTC. Client manufactured transformers and shunt reactors in its factory in Turkey, and then sent the entire set of elements to Poland. From the port of Gdynia, the transport was handled by UTC Overseas Poland. The ship was moored to the quay at the BCT terminal. First, the general cargo elements are unloaded, which are then transported to the storage yard. Next, larger port cranes are brought to the quay to unload the shunt reactors. The shunt reactors are also transported to the storage yard after being checked. There, they will wait for road transport. That is possible only at night. Here, the heavy element transports are separated. The shunt reactors will be transported entirely by road to Osiek Lemborski for construction site. The heavier transformers will first be transported to Władysławowo by barge, and then, using SPMT platforms, by road to Osiek Lemborski. Next, a barge was pulled up to the ship's side, onto which the transformers will be reloaded. Due to the small reach of the cranes, after loading the first batch of transformers, the barge must be turned around. After reloading, the transformers must be properly secured to the barge. The lashing plan was previously approved by the marine surveyor, and now the lashing is taking place under his supervision. When everything is ready, the transport of the transformers begins. After just a few hours, the set is safely brought into the port of Wadiswavovo. Such a large set is not an everyday guest in the Wadiswavovo fishing port. After presenting the plan for arrival and unloading, UTC received permission for such an operation. The unloading of the transformers was carried out using the roll-off method. To make this possible, the transshipment bridges connecting the barge with the key must first be unfolded. The bridges used are long enough to avoid loading the sensitive part of the key. When the bridge is ready, the SPMT platform arrives on site. The platform will drive onto the barge under the transformer, lift it, and then unload it from the barge together with the supporting beam and substructure elements. The transformer will now be transported to a temporary storage location After the first transformer has been transported, the same operation is repeated with the next one. This shot shows that the speed of the operation is not dependent on the SPMT platform's capabilities, but on the ballasting speed of the barge. After the last transformer has been unloaded, the barge is cleaned of fasteners and prepared to sail away. In the meantime, the transformers are being prepared for road transport. To this end, all unnecessary elements are removed from between the SPMT platform and the transformer, so as to reduce the height of the entire set as much as possible. In the meantime, the bridges used to unload the barge are dismantled and then transported to be set up over the existing road bridge. 
The road bridge at this point is not strong enough to support a set of platforms carrying a transformer with a total weight of 442 tons. There are two bridges on the route from Władysławowo to Osieki Lemborskie, over which a flyover bridge has been deployed. These bridges, apart from transporting the transformers, also served normal road traffic. Meanwhile, at the storage yard, the transformer is lifted by a mobile gantry, and the platform takes out the transport beams and keel blocks. After removing the beams, the platform is ready to accept the transformer for road transport. The road transport of transformers from Władysławowo to Osiek Lemborskie will now begin. Punctually at 10 p.m., in accordance with the issued permit, the transport begins. Transport using SPMT reaches a maximum speed of 5 km per hour. However, due to numerous obstacles, including cable lifting, turns, and roundabouts, the average travel speed is about 2 km per hour. Along the entire route, places exposed to greater load are reinforced with mats and steel plates. The drive over the flyover bridge looks spectacular, but there is nothing alarming about it. Calculations and expert opinions performed by UTC provide certainty that the operation is safe. Just one more turn in Carwea, and the first night of transport is coming to an end. Due to the large distance, the transport of transformers is divided into three transport nights. Objects such as roundabouts or tight bends are always checked in advance by engineers for their ability to pass. This allows for collision-free passage and reduces the amount of preparatory work. bend on the public road and only the last straight remains, where the obstacle is narrowly spaced trees, and so the transformers arrive at their destination. Now all that remains is assembly. The SPMT platform is placed under the mobile gantry, the transformer is lifted, the platform moves away, and then the transformer wheels are assembled. The mobile crane is moved to unload the second transformer, and the operation is repeated. After dismantling the tracks and dismantling the gantry, the blocks are attached to the transformer. The last meters are covered by the transformer on its own wheels using manually operated winches. After precise measurement of the transformer's position, the ordering party's representative signs the final acceptance protocol for UTC. 
Let's not forget about the shunt reactors, though. They are transported directly from the port of Gdynia to the construction site using conventional modular trailers. The unloading method is identical to that of the transformers. The transport itself was completed within two weeks. The transport was carried out on time and to the satisfaction of the customer. Thanks to the transformers transported by UTC, green energy produced in offshore wind farms will soon flow to Polish homes.